okay did i start it at the right time i'm in percent it's your phone Sorry. network started assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Welcome, welcome. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Thank you for joining. Okay, yes. MBY for real alaikum salam that means you can hear me masha allah we started off a little bit early i think yeah this is supposed to be at 6 p.m by my time i started i think two minutes earlier than six but at least it's better to be early than late right alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so i'm gonna give a few minutes for others to join us Assalamu alaikum Anzuma. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. So like I earlier said, I'm going to give about just a few more minutes for all of us to get on board and then um I still have one minute to six um i started off too early i am anxious i am excited so <laughs> forgive me please for starting off too early i just want to be as prepared as i can be masha allah masha allah samia welcome welcome all Thank you so much for joining us, beautiful people of Azare Keynote Events. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for joining. okay i think we're going to have to begin it's already 6 p.m and um it's almost time for iftar so um welcome everyone i'm super excited to be here you can tell from my cheek bones it's all the way up here i'm super super excited to be here um i'd like to say a Big, big, big thank you to the Umfariha Network for this noble and wonderful initiative. Thank you so much. Zara Zakaria, I can see you too. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Okay, let's start. <laughs> so I'm going to begin with an apology. So if I fumble, please, 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 please forgive me for the sake of Ramadan. Please forgive me. I am ill prepared. So <laughs> I have my notes over here that I made um, some jotting. So time to time, almost all the time, I'll be looking this way. But trust me, they are all my words. Please <laughs> forgive me. Okay, my name is um, Asma. At least I remember that I don't have to look that way to know that. My name is Asma. Um, I am the CEO Relish Culinary. It is um, a requisite um, culinary training school. Um, I'm also the founder of um, Relish Foundation. It is um, a women empowerment program uh, foundation. It is um, an offshoot of the mother company Relish Culinary. It's a CSR. We saw um, the impact training had on women women that came to our school so we decided to take it out there what can we do for the indigent women to help sustain them to help them have something that they could start on their own and then we began the foundation so enough of me if not i'll go on and on talking about myself okay enough of me let's come back to you how has the day's fasting been how has the entire 
fasting been with you let me have some answers here please how has the day's fasting been hello everyone models modest pearls hello sister kenny yakini manzuma hello hello everyone welcome welcome <laughs> assalamu alaikum so how has a day's fast been before i tell you how mine has been alhamdulillah luxury event has been amazing masha allah ashabi a day i pronounced that well i know alhamdulillah it has been great alhamdulillah awesome 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 okay so <laughs> Like I said, I am super, super excited to be here today um, to be your host. And um, the topic we'll be discussing is um, Ramadan as a homemaker. So I shared some snippets about my life, how a typical day in Asma's life goes during Ramadan. Did you get to see it? You can go back and check the stories. I've been sending a lot of posts yesterday. It's been fun and exciting. So I shared a little bit about how my day goes as um, a mother, a homemaker, and um, as a working mother too. So how I balance life um, by taking care of the home front and at the same time not neglecting my ibadah and at the same time not neglecting my work. So, so um, let's get um, on to it my main advice to everyone is what you do is you shouldn't make the mistake of doing everything at the same time planning is the best thing for you to do you have to plan properly before you begin whatever it is you want to do before ramadan you must have had a plan okay this is we already know that there are 30 29 or 30 days in ramadan this is how it's going to go ibadah 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 fasting from dawn till dusk as we already know so what do we do you plan for it plan your activities plan your food whatever it is you're going to prepare meal ahead of time i'm a chef so i should know that so you listen to me on that that's a good advice for you plan your meals ahead of time store whatever you can in the fridge make a timetable alhamdulillah for all the years that we've been using our brains but so many things have been happening to us childbirth a lot of things so our brain is not as sharp as it used to be so you need a time planner you need to write this thing down i know i have to i know some of my sisters too i know i can see them right here too we need to write these things down if not you will forget it or you have everything jumbled up for you you need to have a plan outline your activities make proper arrangements for them like i said for instance i have to go to work there's a regimen I follow. What do I do? Um, take care of the kids, make sure everything is put in place for those that are not fasting. If not, you forget to feed them. Trust me, you end up at the end of Ramadan, you see them all skinny as if they fasted with you. You forget to feed them. Trust me. Then what you need to do at work, time for your ibadah, time for your salah, put alarm because by the time you are at work, you get um, overwhelmed, you get engrossed in work and you forget those verses of the Quran that you promised yourself you're going to read. Time will just fly by before you realize time has gone and you haven't read that part of um, the Quran that you planned on. And maybe it is um, a part of um, completing the entire um, Quran for the month of Ramadan. And you have planned, okay, I'm going to read um, five um, verses. I'm going to read five chapters at so, so, so time in the, during this day or so. Once you miss one, you'd see that you tip the balance and you may not be able to accomplish what it is you planned um, to do. So, okay. Um, like I earlier said, as women, what we know how to do is um, plan best. So, um, these coming days, the last 10 days is upon us, mashallah, it's 17 days, 17. I told my sister the other day that I cannot believe that it's been 17 days it's been over 10 days 15 almost 20 days to um in ramadan mashallah time indeed is fly, flying very fast what does this tell you this tells us that we must sit up we must utilize the time we have because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow i may be here you may be here but that is not guaranteed that we'll be here in the next couple of minutes days or months so 
now is what we have we have this 2020 ramadan so we have to make the most of it so the, the next coming days are going to be tedious they're going to be tough because it's the last 10 days although it's going to be a little bit different due to the current situation we find ourselves in um before now we would be prepping for eid all the festivities going out to shop and everything but i believe everyone is um doing everything on a low key now because um there's actually nowhere to go so we'll be indoors but still we're going to celebrate our eid i know i am going to so it's going to be a little bit tedious so um you have to like you have to really really plan yourself because um you have to increase on your tahajjud your night prayers for the 10 days you have to ink sorry my phone is about to fall okay so you have to increase your tahajjud that's your night prayer you have to increase your nafilas increase your charity because um it is believed that Laylatul Qadr is falls on one of, on one of these 10 days Nobody has the knowledge of that except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what we hope and we pray for is to be amongst the lucky ones that would witness this night. And we all know the significance of witnessing this night. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, may Allah make us among those that would witness this night. So during this time, during the last 10 days, you find out that you hardly have time to do um, other ibadahs because of all other activities that are accumulating so today i'll be sharing my last 10 days homemakers plan with you all i'll concentrate on those last 10 days because it is upon us already if you want to see more you can go back and check the stories and see how my day goes all the time so let's get in so the first thing you're supposed to do is ensure that you make tahajjud every night of the remaining 10 days so what is the basira in this what is the wisdom in this it is believed that one of those 10 days is the uh, you you get the night of the Laylatul Qadr right so if you are to pray on every night of the 10 days there's no chance you would miss it inshallah because you didn't leave any day out so let's plan to do that pray for the next for the whole of those 10 days pray every of your taraweeh don't miss it every of your tahajjud do not miss it recite quran more give or for um give charity on those 10 days ensure that you do that um okay so um i want to know if you are following me alhamdulillah i can see thumbs up thank you so much for the encouragement thank you thank you thank you so much okay the second point is um get into itikaf what is itikaf itikaf is a seclusion um a muslim is supposed to so um okay so a muslim is supposed to seclude himself or herself for a particular period of time in the mosque or some imams say oh itikaf you could do it you could seclude yourself even in your house you know seclude yourself in a place where you would um not be caught gisting unnecessary gist like doing unnecessary things all you need to do at that time is to dedicate yourself to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by by um praying making zikrs and doing all acts of um um ibadah that's all you need to just concentrate on doing so if you can go on itikaf within this um last 10 days even if it's the whole 10 days some men are able to do that um or three days now that we're in seclusion already no pun intended now that we're in seclusion already you cannot go to the mosque i think it's the right time for you now to carve out a place specifically for you to begin your itikaf in that place if it's your room or your husband's room or your children's room on the other side of the house where you know you won't really have much disturbance from others so like i said men have the luxury of doing that may allah make it easy for us women too in this part of the world to be able to do that too i mean yeah rub okay so alhamdulillah my third point is um 
know the best du'as you're supposed to um, hold on to during this last period. What is the best du'a? Um, I'm going to read this to you. Aisha radiallahu anha, she asked, um, she asked, um, O Messenger of Allah, if I realize Layla to Qadr, night of decree, what should be my supplication in it? And the Prophet, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied her and said, you should supplicate Allahumma innaka afuwun to hibbul afwa fa'afu anni. O Allah, you are most forgiven and you love forgiveness. So forgive me. This is one of the best dua, alhamdulillah, that you could do. O Allah, you are most forgiven. He is the one that is most forgiven. And he loves to forgive, masha'Allah. So forgive me. You know, this is you coming to your rub, asking him, you know, to forgive you. This is you asking him. He loves forgiveness already. And he is the one who will forgive. So this is the best dua for you to hold on to. If you didn't know that, please, 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 please hold on to this dua for the last 10 days and continue saying it. Because trust me, all we need is Allah's forgiveness. That is all we need, Allah's forgiveness. That's all we need. Okay, another point is like I earlier mentioned, give out in charity, give out in sadaqah because it is believed that any act of charity you give, it will come back to you either in the dunya or akhirah in multiple folds so if you give um let's say one percent you'll be getting back a hundred percent i don't know i'm just inferring so you could get multiple barakas come back to you so give 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 during this um period and then another thing is for you to eat light please eat light because you need to make more tahajud more prayers so if you get too filled up you may not be able to stand all through um the tahajjud prayer you may not be able to stay awake because you start getting sleepy you will not be really productive and you need to be on alert to take advantage of the last um 10 days okay so another thing is for you to hydrate well keep some water by your side yes after a few rakahs you take a pause rest and then you take a drink of water to keep you hydrated okay so one thing that is also very important is um, for you to make sure, yeah, Abdul Aziz, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Okay, so um, it's for you to make all prior arrangements before you begin to make your tahajjud. Don't leave other things um, unfinished in the home front and then decide to begin praying. It doesn't work that way. Definitely, there will be distractions. Someone will come in to ask you, oh, mommy, oh, my wife, oh, where is this? Where is that? Plan, like the way I planned, I, I told them, nobody should come into this room for the next 30 minutes. Uh -uh, nobody should come in. They should all stay where they are. That is planning ahead of time. Um, I wouldn't want anyone barging into this. I'm already trying to deliver my lines very well, so I cannot do it. Um, distractions outside alhamdulillah so plan your time plan um finish everything else you need to do in the home front before you begin your tahajjud prayers if there are people you need to feed for sahur or any other thing make sure everyone is sorted out before you begin your tahajjud abaya plug thank you so 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 much for joining you're welcome you're a distraction okay <laughs> so it is important that we utilize this um, 10 days, like I said. Make sure you make um, the most of it. Give out in charity. One very good um, um, kissa that I like saying is um, the story about um, the woman, the prostitute. I'm sure we know that, but if you didn't, let me still um, say it to you now. There's um, a woman, she was a prostitute she she was a prostitute and automatically we all um, every human thought oh she's condemned she's doomed to um jahannam subhanallah do you know what act saved her an act of charity she had a good heart regardless of what it was the bad thing that she was doing she saw a dog that was thirsty the dog was panting it came to a well and there was no way it could get um water to drink this woman out of the goodness of her heart fetched water and gave it to this dog this singular act guaranteed her jannah 
this singular act guaranteed her jannah what more would you ask for from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a prostitute we are talking about that's the height of indecency or so to say if we could um, judge it that way so give 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 during this period there are so many people out there who don't have anything to feed on especially in this um period that we are in so many people have to go out to um get um to work to get daily income to feed their families they're out there your neighbors your family so many people are out there so let's reach out to them let's reach out to them and um give out um in charity masha allah okay so i'm going to take a pause right now and um listen to your inputs oh sorry read your input because i'm actually talking to myself but it feels like we're all we're in a conversation actually so um, i'm going to take a pause now and take some of your questions and your inputs please let's hear from you the women especially how do you um plan your day as a homemaker and um possibly as um, a career woman let's hear from you please um okay the ladies are, seem a bit shy can we have the men please come in and tell us how they feel we should plan okay can at least consider some of us may be off salah so the plan may have a twist yes 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 as yeah very true some of us the women we may be on our periods and um we may be off salah but let me tell you that doesn't stop you from gaining all the barakas you need to get at this period that doesn't stop you there are so many so many things you could do the only thing you cannot do is um hold the complete quran from so many Im oh, imams some imams say the entire quran you cannot hold it some say if it's not a complete quran you could hold a part of it and continue reciting and we have our gadgets now we have our phones you don't need to physically hold um the quran you could do your zikrs you could do your 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 act of charity you inc you can increase on that more because you know you cannot make salah proper so you have to concentrate on doing other things that would um, bring more barakah for you so that you don't miss out mashallah just ensure you wake up um around the third um part the third part of the night because um Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says um Ud uni ask me and I shall give you so at that time of the night there's just a thin veil a very a very thin veil not even as thick as this that I'm wearing it is very thin between him and um his disciples mashallah between him and um us so all you ask for all you ask for i'm going to say this in hausa all you ask for of anna kyota tazato it is believed that's what it means it is believed that inshallah it shall be granted alhamdulillah so even if you're on your period as women don't allow these um last 10 nights pass you by do Get up and perform your zikrs and your istighfars and other things you need to do. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. It has been great. Beautiful people of Azare, it has been great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think most of us have gone to the kitchen most of us have gone to the kitchen right now because if you can if you check the story you see that i just popped my own chicken kebab in the oven and i made sure i had already cut the fruits before i came here to join you briefly and um we would have to conclude in a few minutes but it's been amazing i wish we had more time i was actually thinking this is going to be um time consuming but it's exciting i wish i could stay more i could stay longer so i buy a plug i'm a nursing mother i can't pray to her jude in what other way can i gain rewards in these last 10 days yes as a nursing mother we all know how difficult it is you'll be feeding your child at intervals you'll be having you won't even you'll be having your sleep is all messed up you won't be able to sleep um very well we having erratic sleep so um you'd 
fall off um to be asleep at odd times you basically won't have much strength to stand up and um, make tahajjud but that shouldn't stop you from doing it you plan yourself properly know the pattern of your child know what makes the child sleep for a longer period feed the child properly keep the child make your tahajjud in your own room so that you don't have to stay away from the child because you can't leave the child um you could risk the child falling off when it wakes up and nobody is in the room and you can't take the child to where you have the congregation in the family house maybe in the front room or somewhere where all of you um get up to pray stay in your room and pray if possible bring the child and lay him down by um by your by your side when the child is feeling your warmth, it may not wake up and you'll be able to make your tahajjud. And then other things you could do is feed the needy. You could also continue doing your istighfar. Like, always hold astaghfirullah. That's one thing that I tell people. Astaghfirullah al-azim, astaghfirullah al-azim, astaghfirullah al-azim. Hold that. It is the easiest, one of the easiest prayers that you could do. The easiest thing you could do while working, while walking, while doing everything is only maybe when you're asleep that you cannot do it. But while you're turning to pick, pick up the plate, while you're turning to um, turn the soup, while you're turning to do so many things, just make your um, zikr, make your istighfar all the time. Conscious Jude, Khadija, thank you so much for joining us. Rollins Russia Streets, you are in the kitchen right now. Yes, I just popped my own chicken in the oven and um, I have to go back um, and um, check on it. But do check the stories. I have been posting some interesting things. To me, they seem interesting. Check them out and see how I spend my life during the day, how I try to balance my life if I have to go to work as I have to right now. And um, when I come back home, I meet my kids and prepare food for my family. This has been amazing. This has been amazing and um, wonderful. If you want to hear more about how you make the most of your day, how you plan your day, please join me on the 16th of May on my page at Relish Culinary on a live video session inspired by um, Golden Moon. Um, I want to end this by encouraging us all not to neglect any act of Ibadah, please. We are all sinners. We are. We are all sinners in every in different ways. That does not mean we should neglect our ibadah. That does not mean we shouldn't continue going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask for forgiveness. Let us not neglect our ibadah. Let us not neglect our salah. Let's continue praying to him. Keep asking him for forgiveness. Yes, we will fall out of track, but inshallah we believe that by us asking him for his mercy and his forgiveness he will bring us back on track jazakallah khair all for joining i am getting a bit emotional thank you so much and i hope to do this some other time thank you so much um fariha thank you so much um fariha team for giving me this um opportunity assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuh bye don't forget to check the story okay amin ya rabbi abdulaziz thank you so much assalamu alaikum mariam i'm supposed to mm -hmm.